everyone, I'm Walker and welcome back to All of Out of Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I am so, 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 so excited to be sharing with you Zoya Spring 2019 collection, the Innocence collection. This is a six piece collection that was very graciously sent to me for review by Zoya and I'm really excited to share it with you. And as always, I will do two videos about this collection. This one that you're watching right now where we will do live swatch and review of these polishes and then Tomorrow, I will be posting an in-depth color comparison where we'll talk about each of these polishes and compare it to other shades in Zoya's collection so that you can figure out if it's something that you want to add to your collection or not. So definitely stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe. That way you won't miss my color comparison video tomorrow. Awesome. Let's dive into these polishes. All right, we're just going to go through these alphabetically. So the first one that we're looking at today is Agnes, which is described as a warm toned muted blush in a full coverage cream formula. And I really like this blush. Blush is one of my favorite nudes to wear. I just think it's so soft. It's so warm. It's so pretty. This one goes on pretty similar to other nudes from Zoya or other more kind of neutral polishes from Zoya. The first coat is just a tad bit streaky and uneven, but it does self level pretty well and it's not you know hard to work with at all it's just a little bit light coverage so you can see my first coat here is a little bit patchy and streaky but when we go in for the second coat I have no trouble getting it nice and opaque this formula is not too thick it's not you know kind of pooling up around the sides it's not too hard to work with it does self level really well this one is a really super muted blush like it's really only pink if you look for it um, it's not, you know, kind of a yellow nude. It's definitely a pink toned nude, but it's really, really soft and really beautiful. And so you are looking at two coats of Agnes. Next up is one of my favorites. This is Airy. And Airy can be described as a deep, dusty periwinkle blue in a full coverage cream formula. That's what Zoya says. This one to me was a little bit more even on the first coat, but was definitely streaky, definitely patchy. Um, I think that's pretty kind of normal for a polish like this. I didn't do a super thick coat, so if you did a much thicker coat, you might get a more even coverage, but I had no trouble, you know, getting this one to go where I wanted it to. No, like, crazy pooling on the sides, no crazy streaking. I found this pretty easy to work with as I do most of Zoya's creams. I really love this color. It is pretty, you know, grayed out. It's pretty muted. And I'm really excited in my color comparison video, I think you'll see exactly how muted this is because it looks really bright on the nail. But compared to some of Zoya's other polishes, it is definitely pretty muted out, which is so interesting. But this periwinkle on the second coat gets totally opaque, no issues at all for me whatsoever. I am using, you know, just the standard Zoya brush here. And in three strokes, I was getting complete coverage and that self-leveling works really well to give you nice and even coverage. So this is two coats of Airy. Next we're looking at Birch, and Birch is such a wonderful name for this polish, and Zoya describes it as a gentle, grazed lavender in a full coverage cream formula. So this is another cream in this collection, and this one is definitely a little bit more white, a little bit more grayed out than Agnes was, so they look you know, a little bit similar in the bottle at first take, but this has a lot more purple in it. And then also it has a much whiter base. It's not as creamy as Agnes is. And so I really like this one. I think it's just absolutely stunning. It reminds me of a really, really lightened kind of Easton color. You know, it's very grayed out purple. This first coat for me was actually pretty opaque. Um, I didn't have a ton of streakiness in this one. I found the coverage to be a little bit better than I did the other more nude shade in this collection. So I'm doing a second coat of Birch, but really finding it to just kind of give me a little bit more coverage. It doesn't seem to be totally necessary for this one for me. And so you are looking at two coats of Birch. This one is a really fun one. This is Yvette, and it's best described by Zoya as a softened grape with a pink undertone. And I really see the pink undertone in here. I think it's a really warm toned purple. I'm really excited to compare this one to some of Zoya's other purples. And as you can see, the formula on this one is just about perfection. It is really creamy. It's really easy to apply. I found the coverage on the first coat of this one to be really opaque. Um, I did have just a little bit of kind of 
even nail poking through so it wasn't like super streaky but I could see a little bit of kind of translucency in the formula so I could see a little bit of my nail peeking through so I did decide to go in and do a second coat but I think if you did a little bit of a thicker coat you could probably get this one opaque in one coat and eventually it will probably be a one coater for me. But for now I am going to do a second coat and you can see that it doesn't really affect the color very much. It's deepening it just a little bit. But what I love about this polish is how glossy it is. The Zoya cream formula is just gorgeous. My pinky nail here is so glossy even though it's fully dry with no top coat. I just am always astounded by this cream formula. So this is two coats of Yvette. All right, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know that this one is my favorite. I am obsessed with this gorgeous green, and this is Fern. And Fern is described by Zoya as a sage with a beautiful, warm pearl accent. And I am so in awe of this pearl accent. It really is just so glowy, so gold, so warm. It's stunning. On the nail, it doesn't come through quite as much as I would like it to. I can definitely see a little bit of a warm shine. And so you can see in the swatch photo that there's a touch of warmth in here, which makes this green a little bit unique. But what I really love about this polish is just the base color, honestly. It is really gray and really cool toned, but just an absolutely stunning green. The formula on this shimmer I think is really, really nice. Some of Zoya's shimmers I find a little bit hard to get even on the nail, but this first coat for me was super even. And the second coat builds up the color a little bit deeper. It evens out a little bit more. I don't know that it builds up the shimmer that much, unfortunately, but it does make that color really rich and really even on the nail. So you are looking right now at the absolutely gorgeous Fern. All right, and here is the most interesting shade in the collection by far. This is Theo, and Theo is described by Zoya as a stormy gray with subtle texture featuring a flash of larger irregular silver flakies in silver with dark blue glitter throughout, like a spring thunderstorm in the night. And I think a thunderstorm is a great description of this polish. You can see this first coat is pretty transparent, but I am doing a pretty thin coat. So the way that I found to get this polish to apply with the best flaky distribution is to use a wide brush with a really thin first coat and a moderately thin second coat. If I did too thick of a coat when I first tried to apply this polish, the flakies kind of sunk in and they looked a little funny. So I think with two thin coats, you do get full opacity because the base in here is pretty dark and the glitter is pretty dense, but you do need to do thin coats so that you can really get those flakies to show up on the nail. And when they do, they're just really stunning and really interesting. So this is two coats of Theo. All right, we're at my favorite part. We're gonna talk about favorites and my kind of thoughts on these polishes. These are three of the creams in this collection. This is Agnes, Birch, and Yvette. I'm gonna hold my final thoughts on these polishes until I do my in-depth color comparison because honestly, these three polishes have really beautiful formulas. They're fabulous formulas, but they look very similar to other polishes in Zoya's collection. So I'm excited to do some comparisons. All right, my two standout favorites from this collection are definitely the blue and the green. I know I know that's not surprising, but these are also just so unique in their collection. I really, really love this gorgeous blue, this dusty periwinkle. Um, I think that's the description. Airy is such a great name and it's such a beautiful polish. This reminds me of Danielle in that it's like a little bit blurple but it's really, really soft and grayed out. So I am excited to do more comparisons of this, but I know already that this will stand out as a unique in my collection polish. And same thing with Fern. I number one, love the name. It matches this so well. And I love the combo of this like bluey green polish with a little bit of a pearl finish. It just brings some warmth to the nail. It brings this like really nice sheen to the nail. I really like this color. It's super soft. To me, this is a little bit deeper and grayer and bluer than Sage is, which is another polish from Zoya. This one is a standout must grab. I love this one. All right, let's talk about Theo. This one, I feel kind of similarly to how I felt about the Leopard Spots topper in the Jubilee collection. Like it's really, really cool. I'm really glad they're branching out. 
but it's probably not gonna be my favorite polish. Once I figured out how to work with this polish, I like it a lot. The formula is a little thick on this one and it does take a little bit of manipulation. So what I figured out is that two to three thin coats really makes this one pop. If I did too thick of a coat, the flakies kind of just like sunk down in the polish and the glitter didn't really shine as much as I wanted it to, but with two thin coats on my nails like I did in my swatch video today, this looked really, really nice. The effect is so interesting. I really like the kind of silver shards. They totally look like storm clouds on your nails. All right, so that's it. That is the whole review. I would love to hear from you which ones of these excite you the most. Which ones are you not that excited about? Do you think you'll pick any of them up, all of them? Let me know your thoughts down below. And definitely stay tuned for my color comparison video tomorrow. I cannot wait to deep dive into some of these polishes with you. Once I post that video, I will link it up here in the cards and down below in the description. And as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me to talk about nail polish. I hope that you're having as much fun as I am and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Zoya's spring 2018.